We are here at the annual Passport News event with some of the most important people in the tourism industry, both Israeli and international. Now, of course, the last couple of years, this event could not be held. So everyone is really excited to be here to talk about the amazing summer that the tourism industry has seen and to have a great night. So let's get going. This Passport News event isn't just a simple party. In fact, it's a People of the Year award show, where they hand out awards to the people who have impacted the tourism and aviation industry to show their appreciation. Passport News is, uh, is the leading uh, trade magazine in the Israeli market. And uh, happily, they're uh, holding this event, uh, which they're holding once a year, uh, hosting all the uh, airline, travel agents, uh, travel agencies, hotels, you know, like the main event of uh, the social event of the aviation and tourist uh, sector in Israel. Tell me a little bit about this gala that we're here. I know that you guys do this every year, minus the two years of Corona. What is this event? This is a, actually a gala evening that we do every year before the new year of uh, the Jewish people and that we are uh, uh, inviting all the decision makers, the owners of the company, Minister of Tourism will join us in a few minutes, ambassadors, there are almost 30 people from abroad that coming and with a big smile because after the two years this is the minimum that we can do and to, to make all the industry together. No one seemed to have expected the crazy numbers that they saw post-pandemic, giving these leaders just one more reason to come out and celebrate tonight. כמובן שאנחנו צריכים לעודד, להשתפר, אני חושב שבעניין המדיני פתחנו הרבה, חתמנו על הרבה הסכמים, פתחנו קווי תעופה ישירים עם הרבה מדינות, עכשיו מתחילים לטוס ליפן ויש עוד כמה מדינות בקנה, השמיים מעל סעודיה יאפשרו, יאפשרו עוד, עוד תיירות, כך שאנחנו בכל המקומות שאנחנו יכולים אנחנו עובדים. So as somebody who definitely knows, um, what has the tourism industry been like this summer post the two to three years Corona? Is this what you guys were expecting? Did you guys expect less people or more? We're about 85% of the pre-COVID uh, figures in terms of passenger numbers, uh, number of flights, etc. So uh, we believe that uh, sometime towards the end of 2023, the global figures will reach the pre-COVID uh, numbers. And who could forget about the main event of the evening, the awards. Among the awards of recognition that were distributed was the person of the year, Leo Raviv, the CEO of the East Hotel Hotel chains, as well as the lifetime achievement in the cruise industry, which was awarded to Uri Schneval, founder of the Sinoma Company along with many more people and many more awards that shed light on all the amazing efforts these leaders have put into getting things back up and running smoothly. But now, the real question that I want to know is when do these industry leaders predict numbers will go back to quote-unquote normal? Our expectation is that, uh, at least in Israel, we will see the numbers uh, similar to 2019 uh, next year and globally at the beginning of 24. I'm sure we can all agree about how beyond happy to hear that tourism is getting back to normal. It's been a rough couple of years and I'm sure everyone can agree that a well-deserved trip around the world is just what everyone needs. And how would we do that if not for the impactful people that were here with me tonight? <laughs>